Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you how to create professional wall art mockups in a quick and easy way. I made a video previously showing people how to add your artworks into mockups, but a lot of people found it kind of difficult because they weren't familiar with Photoshop. So this time I want to show you an alternative way on how you can add your artwork to frame mockups or canvas mockups in a quick drag and drop kind of method. So let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to be using Placeit. And basically what Placeit is, is a drag and drop feature. You can use all kinds of mockups, not just for frames, which we're going to show in the video, but they do everything from like t-shirts, you can do mugs, any print on demand, and you can even do like logos and different designs, right? So definitely check them out. I'll have them in the link below. If you want to check it out, I have a discount as well. All right. But I'm going to just go right into it and show you how you can do the frame ones. First, you can actually go mockups and go prints and posters. But, you know, for this purpose, I'm going to show you some frame ones. So I'm going to click on frame. There's no need to click on mockups because, you know, essentially they're all mockups on this website. So as you can see, like, obviously you got to pick the ones that work for your aesthetic. Like this one can actually be a good one for your main image, to be honest, right? But like I said, if you do need to use these, you've got to have the paid version, which I believe it is very affordable for what you're using it for in terms of your business. But look down, see what works for you, right? Like this, this is kind of cool. We might want to use that for canvases. And you can always, if you hover over them, you can see a lot of different styles that they have as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how many different styles they have. If you have a three piece, maybe you can use something like that. You can also search, you know, three piece wall art up here to see what they have. And, you know, in my other video, I kind of talked about using a place called Creative Market, which is this site, also link below if you want. But these ones are definitely more for uh, Photoshop users, right? So that's why I'm like, okay, you know what? You know, I know you guys are all into Photoshop, which is totally fine. So that's why I wanted to create a video like this for people who just want a drag and drop feature, right? So here's another cool one. We can use this one. Let's click into this one. I'm going to use that one earlier as well. Let me use this one just to show you another uh, alternative one if you want to do canvases. But I just want to make sure people understand like how good these ones are compared to if you use a just an image and you, you insert your photo in here and add some drop shadow. Like these ones are actually professionally done. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth the investment into these ones just because this looks better. All right. Okay. So I'm going <laughs> to keep rambling on. I was going to show you quickly on how to actually add your images to here. Okay. So this is the first one that we clicked on, right? This is the page that you get to and right, right away, you already, you, this is where you would insert your images. So it's very straightforward, very quick and easy, just like, just like the title there. And I already kind of made these size ratios so that it fits in there perfectly. So there's a thousand by 1500 pixels, right? So you want to kind of want to match it. You don't have to do exactly like this, but you want to keep it the same ratio and file size. All right. So I'll go to the first one. You would go upload from your device if you have it on the computer, right? And I'm pretty sure you can do this from your phone as well, but usually I just do it from the computer. It's just easier, but I'm going to go with recently uploaded because I already tested it out on here. And here is just some like designs that I have from before, but let's click on one of them. It's going to bring you to this next one. If you want to do uh, different cropping, but I'm gonna keep it at a hundred. If I can get back to it. Okay. Click on crop and it's just gonna take some time to load into the mockups. All right, there it is. It was kind of slow. I think my internet's pretty bad right now, but I swear it's normally faster than this. Okay. So the next one, we're going to go to recently upload it because I already have these up already. Let's use, um, let's use this one. Oh wait, do we use this one already? I think I did. Let me close that. Let's use the, let's use the other one here. Okay. Same thing. Uh, I have its size already, so it's, I just can crop it right away. And yeah, as you can see, it's already in here. I'm pretty sure when you download these, there's comes higher res because obviously they can't show you the, the best one. It was going to load super slowly, but like, look how, look how good it is. This is literally just um, a couple clicks and you already have it. And I'll just put in the last one. Let's do, I don't know, let's do this one. That one fits. Okay. So here's a good example. So this one doesn't fit perfectly. So we're going to 
just I mean it's up to you if you want to create a new file for it to fit perfectly and as totally up to you but I'm just giving you an example and uh, as you can see so there it is all you got to do is let this process let's finish and you can always save these to, to your favorite so if you ever need to go back to make adjustments you can you can do so and you just click on download just like that and you already have a good image like this you can always resize it if you, you can bring it to Canva, bring it to other platforms if you want to create other dimensions to match the overall shot. Because one thing I don't recommend, I guess it's just a random tip for anyone. If you're going to have all these different placed images, right? I, I don't recommend using one long one, one uh, horizontal one into your listing. I like to keep, personally, I like to keep mine all the same. So I usually just do square for all my images. So just another tip. But, but it's obviously, I'm not saying that's the only way. That's just how I do it. Okay, so here's the other one. Just another quick example, right? We're going to just do this quickly. Recently uploaded because I have it. Let's click on one of them. And okay, so this one's really off. I mean, you could probably put a different file, but I'm just going to show you what it's like. Sure. All right. Hopefully, these ones are faster. All right, so there it is. I swear my internet's pretty bad right now. That's why I took a little longer, but I just think it looks really professional. And same with this one. If you feel like you want to crop it, this is harder to crop into a square, how I like to do it, but this could be a good, maybe a Pinterest post for a nice two by three ratio file for that. Or if you want to keep all your images into a, a portrait mode, which is totally fine. And so there you go. It's like, they just have a bunch of other stuff you can check out. And here's, oh yeah, another quick thing that's amazing is once you've created one that like you've added one in there you can just go ahead and it automatically generates all of them into a different mock-up for you just give you extra ideas and you might have to resize some of them but it's pretty cool it's super quick for anyone that's not into photoshop or anything like that that so i totally recommend this and yeah check out the link below there's a um discounted on there as well and hopefully you hopefully you learned something from this video <laughs> and um like and subscribe if you have not already at my channel, I kind of teach people how to be successful on Etsy, right? If you're doing digital, physical, or print on demand, any products, you can totally follow and hopefully you can learn some stuff. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.